Hey everyone, this is Sage Valentine, and this is my review of Season 1, Episode 2, Believe. Um, Bo and Tate are on the bus after Episode 1. They're on their way down, and they're through New Jersey. What basically happens is that a cop, because I guess there's a national alert to look for him, and a Bo and a cop, he's like, he has a paper, and he's like looking for, I think it has a picture of either Bo or um, Tate. He's going from person to person in the bus, asks the driver. The driver's like, oh, I don't know. And this goes back and forth. And Bo uses her power to release the emergency brake or the, yeah, the I think it's the emergency brake on the car. And the car starts rolling over like the squad car. So the cop runs out and basically that's the end of that. There's a new character who's an FBI agent. Her name is Elizabeth Farrell. She meets Roman. She really doesn't like him, but she's tasked to find little Bo. And she's very skeptical. She asks about Winter because um, Roman and Winter used to work together, so they were on the same project with Bo, but Roman, uh, Winter took Bo away and hid her. And he's been following her ever since. That's the premise of this show. So um, she wonders, is Winter evil? And Roman's people are just like, no, no. He just kind of overreacted, but he believed that Bo was being abused. They take Elizabeth to go meet a boy who's like an older version of Bo, and he, you can't even look at him. Like, everybody has to, like, stay in the room and have their back turned to him. We find out Tate and Bo are in Atlantic City. Scorus um, sends out a crew to come out and get them. Because somehow, um, Tate was identified, I guess, on the bus. Someone, I guess, was afraid to say something, and then, I guess, once it was over, they mentioned it on the bus, so... Tate decides to have Bo help him cheat at, well, it's, technically it's not cheating at um, the craps table. So that they can get money because they really don't have any money and they left that money in the warehouse. So they're kind of assed out about that. Channing says to Winter, um, she was like, when are you going to tell Bo that um, Tate is her father? And because I guess he's saying like, you know, if she's like, eventually Tate isn't going to get sick of this. He's going to drop her off, so you're going to have to tell him this is your kid. I'm not sure how he doesn't catch the connection, but I guess with everything going on, he doesn't really know. Um, Bo's talking to this waitress who has a son that's very sick. He has, like, cancer or something. And she gives her a, a free strawberry milkshake. And Tate is, like, winning at this table, and he kisses this random chick. And when he turns, and they take, like, a little selfie, and she puts it on Instagram... And when he turns around, once again, Miss Bo is uh, disappearing. This kid cannot stay in one place. We find out the FBI put out an Amber Alert for Bo, so Bo's face is, like, everywhere with tape. And the FBI found out that um, they saw the picture that that woman took with um, Tate, and it's all on Instagram and everything, and that he and Bo are in that casino in Atlantic City. Bonnie, put, like, they're running out of there because... Um, they have the money and everything, but they're running out of there because he starts, Tate starts to see, like, the, um, the news reel, I guess. And, like, his face is up there, and Bo's face, and they're running out of there at the casino. And they see the waitress, whose name is Bonnie. And Bonnie gives them a lift. They ask her for a lift. She gives them a lift after talking to Bo. Um, they're basically on the run again at this point, um, which they haven't really stopped being on the run. And I'm saying, from this, uh... I'm sorry, my opinion been a brain fart right now. From this casino, they're running out, and then they see Bonnie, and they jump in Bonnie's car. Her son has leukemia. It's a, it's a special type of leukemia, but the treatment is very uh, expensive. Bo meets the little boy. They start talking about stuffed animals, and the little boy says that his elephant can fly, and she makes the elephant fly, and then she makes her little turtle dance, and it's really cute. It's like a cute little scene. A man walks into the casino and talks to the crap dealer, starts threatening him. If you look at the man and you've watched Boardwalk Empire, you know this dude. He was working with a Chalky White. I don't remember his character's name, but he was the guy that was with Chalky White last season. And I think he became friendly with Chalky White, like, in season two, maybe? I think around that time. Um... He takes the man's head and, like, puts it against the um, a railing, trying to find out where Bo is. Now, Tate and Bo are, like, on the train, and they're riding. Bo tells Tate that she gave the money to little boy Jesse because he needed it. This woman, out of nowhere, is just like, 
isn't that that girl? Is that Bo? That's Bo over there. That's Bo. And I'm like, typical Jersey. And then these other two guys, like, you're not leaving without. I'm like, okay. Typical New Jersey, as usual. If you've never been in New Jersey, never been in the Tri-State area, that's how people are and people are missing. We are very, very outgoing in that way. We're just like interjecting everything pretty much. Doesn't even matter. Um, They try to stop them. Tate runs with Bo up this like this escalator and he steps and they disappear. Tate fakes like he has a gun to get out. Basically, to get off the train, he fakes like he has a gun and then they take off. Rowan. Rowan is upset because uh, Winter took Bo. And there's a woman with him. I think her name is like, I don't remember her character's name. I think her name is like Zoe or something. She says um, that Winter knew that the agency was going to use Bo as a weapon, basically. So, uh, that new guy from the, um, brain fart again. The new guy from the casino, he pops up because, um, somehow, um, Tate is able to get away from him and Tate, uh, no, I think Tate is gets a car and he's driving and this fool comes out of nowhere and like he sees the 4x4 pulling up and pulling around, I think it's a Denali, and it's like driving around and then he just comes after Tate and he's attacking him and um, Bo's like coming out and she's watching him just beating the crap out of poor Tate. He grabs up, the guy grabs Bo, puts Bo in the car, because we think that Tate's, like, knocked out, because the guy beat the hell out of him. Tate was trying to put gas in his car. He drops the thing with the gas in it, which is completely untrue in that one scene. And I'm not trying to be all authentic about it, but in New Jersey, you cannot um, do your own gas. I don't want to be picky about it, but I'm just saying, in New Jersey, we can't do our gas. Like, we will get in a hell of a lot of trouble if, if the police show up, they see us doing it. There's, like, a law around here. And I think it's here in New... Might be parts of New York where you can't... We cannot do our own gas. It's this whole long thing going on, and they just can't do it. So, um... We think Tate, like I said, Tate's knocked out. He's on the ground. He has, like, the nozzle with the gas coming out. It's, like, laying there. And the new assassin guy takes the, um, a lighter and throws it. All of a sudden, as he and Bo are in the car, Tate jumps up and they just start fighting. And he kicks Tate, somehow kicks him out the car and steals the car. And as they drive away, the pumps all blow up. So, um, the assassin guy, his, his real name is Eric LeRae Harvey. He gets into another car and is basically chasing after, um, Bo and, um, Tate. Tate's driving, then all of a sudden, as luck will have it, the truck that he's driving has a flat tire. And he's just, like, freaking out, and Bo's, like, wondering what the hell's going on. And all of a sudden, these state policemen just pull up behind them. And they flash their lights and make them get out. And Tate's, like, upset. And I'm like, damn. I said, I said, Lord, I said, after all this they've done so far, here comes the state police. So they ask Tate to put his hands on his head, and he doesn't. He tells Bo, don't do anything. He said, everything's going to be all right. So they're locking him up, like, in the handcuffs. They put him in everything, and the next thing you know... But on a side note, those uniforms they have on are badass, and they look way better than the ones that we have in New Jersey, because our real uniforms are ugly. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. I was like, those awesome. Those, those uniforms are pretty awesome. So they get into the car, and... Tate's like, where are you going to take her? Where are you going to take her? And they turn around and he says, same place as you. And he sees Winter and the crew. So they were faking like they were um, state troopers and doing the whole thing. And uh, at the end of the episode, you see a little boy, Jesse. He's playing by himself and talking, about, talking to his stuffed animals about how he played with Bo. And the mother, his mom, Brenda, comes in the room. And he said, Mom, everything's going to be all right. He's like, look what Bo gave me. And he shows her, like, a stack of money. It's like $30,000. And the mother hugs him, and that's the end of the episode. I just can't wait until Tate finds out that that's his daughter. I want to see how he's going to react to that. There's a lot of people on social media who are, like, tearing the show apart, and they're saying, you know what, 
The show is kind of stupid. The premise is kind of like Touch, which I watched Touch and I really don't see a resemblance between the two considering that the little boy from Touch was autistic and the stories were interconnected within each other. None of these stories are, stories are really connected. That's where these two shows differ. And they're like um, tearing at the authentic authentication of each story and the the storyline and the background and everything and the way everything looks. These pilots don't get that much money because most of these shows they put out, they don't they don't really expect them to last. Like if they put out ten shows, they give them a tiny little budget. And if they make it through that, they get more money and more money to do more episodes. So I really do like the show. And episode two, uh, Beginner's Luck, is pretty good. There's a song, though, that plays... Um, during the promo was like these violins and this guy singing i want to know who that is i tried looking last night and i couldn't figure it out so if anybody knows who sings that song can you definitely leave it in the comments and um let me know and if you have any opinion on this show any comments anything just leave it at the bottom and definitely subscribe i'd love to have more subscribers so you guys could get into all my videos because i'm going to do one for the walking dead and uh the following tomorrow um Thanks, guys, for tuning in. This is Sage Valentine at sagevalentine, twitter.com. I hope you can handle it, blogger.com. And the truth is wordpress.com. So any guy, anyway, guys, uh, have a happy Monday and uh, take care, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>